Sandalwood actor Raghuveer breathed his last yesterday at the Gangotri Hospital in BTM layout in Bengaluru. The actor succumbed to a massive heart attack. He was 46. The actor got collapsed in his residence at Samanaparimbangar and was immediately rushed to Gangotri Hospital in BTM layout. Later, Raghuveer was shifted to Sagarapolo Hospital in Banargata Road where the doctors declared him brought dead. It is said that Raghuveer had breathed his last in a previous hospital. The family sources confirmed the news of Raghuveer's death to media and shifted the body to his residence. The actor's family is waiting for other close relatives who are settled in Chennai. The last rites of the actor will be held at a private farmhouse near Dodda Aslan Marat today. Raghuveer made his acting debut with Chaitra the Primanjali in 1992 in which he was paired opposite Shweta. The movie also marked the debut of Sandalwood's ace filmmaker S. Narayan which turned out to be a musical hit of the year with Hamsa Lekar's music. Raghuveer is also known for the other famous movie like Shrungara Kavya, Uyale, Kaveri, Tiradarli, Naviluru Nadile, August 15th and others. The actor was awaiting the release of Moodala Chumbana, which was slated to release in July 2014. He was also planning to come up with another project, Mate Bantu Chaitra which was set to recreate the magic of Chaitra the Premanjali in Kannada film industry. Many Sandalwood actors and actresses were shocked by the death of Raghuveer. Actor Raghuvi succumbed to a massive heart attack. He was 46. The actor got collapsed at a resident in Sampangi, Ramnagara, and was immediately rushed to the Gangotri Hospital in BTM layout. Later, Raghuvi was shifted to Sagarapolo Hospital in Banargata, where the doctors declared him brought dead. It is said that Raghuvi had breathed his last in the previous hospital. The last rites of the actor will be held at a private farm house near Dodda Aladamara today. Raghuveer made his acting debut with Chaitra the Premanjali in 1992, in which he was paired opposite Shweta. The movie also marked the debut of Sandalwood's ace filmmaker S. Narayan, which turned out to be the musical hit of the year with Hamsa Lekar's music. Raghuveer is also known for other famous movies like Shungara Kavya, Uyale, Kaveri, Tiradalli, Naviluru Naidilli, August 15 and others. The actor was awaiting the release of Modela Chumbana, which was slated to release in July 2014. He was also planning to come up with another project, Mati Bandhu Chaitra, which was set to recreate the magic of Chaitra the Premanjali in Kannada film industry. Many sandalwood actors and actresses have expressed their shock over the death of Raghuveer.
Many sandalwood actors have, in fact, expressed their shock about Raghuveer's death. Raghuveer was, in fact, expecting two, one release and was, in fact, planning another one. But unfortunately, he succumbed to a massive cardiac arrest. Scientists have made a startling revelation as far as monsoons in Kerala are concerned. While many think that it would be because of a depression in the Arabian Sea, there is much more to this. Is global warming causing heavy rain? Top scientists in the country have revealed that global warming could be the reason for heavy rains in Kerala. Kerala, the gateway of monsoon into the mainland of the country, has experienced heavy rains over the last few days three weeks ahead of the arrival of South Asia's southwesterly monsoon. The State Disaster Management Authority has confirmed that unabated rainfall has already done sufficient damage to crops and farming in the state. 18 people dead. Loss amounting to 250 crores. With the crop destruction alone pegged at 20 crore rupees, the unexpected rain has caused destruction across the state, leaving the total loss at 250 crore rupees. While the sudden showers are being attributed to warming of ocean water, which is the direct effect of global warming, scientists believe that the alarming temperature pattern could result in below average rainfall. A deep depression over sea is the reason for summer rains. I cannot say whether global warming is responsible for deep depression. However, I can say that we can link the intensified summer rains to global warming. India is expected to see below normal monsoon this year with Met Department forecasting 95% rainfall because of the El Nino effect, which is generally associated with the warming of ocean water. A new stand report. Many greats such as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, M. Vishweshwaraya have achieved great heights in life despite coming from humble backgrounds. Here's a report on two people who have performed exceptionally well in PU exams despite their modest background. This is a slum in Lokapura in Bagalkot. And you will be surprised to know that this is a home to two toppers in the PU exams. Meet Ramesh Chinnaparudreshi and Manjunath Rudreshi. They are not brothers, but are wards of parents belonging to a community of nomads. This duo has passed the PU exam with 91%, much to the delight of their family members. They are students of Alva's College in Moodabidri. The two top scorers want to continue studying in the same college since they have both been offered benefits for their efforts. Ramesh says that the hardships he was up against helped him focus on his goals. Manjunath wants to study further and become a KS officer to help the poor. Manjunath the two toppers grew up in humble backgrounds. Both Manjunath and Ramesh's parents are said to have earned their living by begging and lived under a hut for over 30 years. They strived hard going from place to place just so that their children could live better lives. The duo did not let down their parents. The parents of both boys say that they used to study for at least eight hours a day and during exam time, the boys studied for 12 hours. Overwhelmed family members attribute their success to hard work. The boys now hope to achieve more in life. With the motivation they possess, their goals may not be out of reach. Suresh Nayak, News 9, Bagalkot.
Nigeria is sparing no effort to rescue the 276 girls abducted at gunpoint about a month back by a rebel outfit called Boko Haram. Even as many celebrities joined the crusade to find the girls, Malala too joined the campaign and had a message to convey. Boko Haram hasn't studied Islam. Yes, that is what the advocate for girls' right to education, Malala Yousafzai, had to say about the rebel outfit Boko Haram and their idea of Islam. They are extremists and they don't really understand Islam. They are actually misusing the name of Islam or even abusing the name of Islam because they have forgotten that the word Islam means peace. Malala's suggestion to the extremist group came after the head of Boko Haram released a video in which he said that Allah instructed him to sell the girls in the human market. Boko Haram translates into English as a Western education is sinful. In light of that, these rebels had abducted over 300 girls at gunpoint from a school where these girls had appeared for an exam despite security threats. However, a few girls managed to escape from the group's clutches by jumping out of the truck while the extremists were taking them to an unknown location. Malala is known worldwide for her bravado and has been fighting hard for women's right to education. This incident saddened her and she said that the abducted girls were like her sisters in prison. Not just that, the girl took the rebels head on and said that they should read the Holy Quran thoroughly before striking terror and claiming what Allah has instructed them to do. So girls in Nigeria are my sisters and it's my responsibility that I speak up for my sisters. The first word that was revealed on Prophet peace be upon him was Ikra and Ikra means read. It's, it's a message of getting knowledge, of getting education, so how can they deny this fact? that Islam gives a message to us that you should go and get knowledge and get education. So I think they haven't studied Islam yet, they haven't studied Quran yet, and they should go and they should learn Islam. Many have reacted to the incident, but Malala's reaction comes as a message, or rather a suggestion to the rebels, who have now asked for an unspecified ransom from the Nigerian government, failing which Boko Haram has threatened to sell these girls to slavery for a mere sum of £7. A News 9 report.